Moving from the north to Bluffton, South Carolina improved as one thing in a big way, and that is our quality of life. So, details? When buying a home, we're not just looking for a home. We're looking for a community, for a lifestyle. I'm not just a realtor here in Bluffton, but I'm also a resident. That reminds me of the Hyde commercial. I'm not only the heck of president, but I'm also a client. Quality of life may mean different things to different people, but I'll share with you how our lives have changed since we've moved to Bluffton. I will start with the obvious one. It is the weather, the climate. What? This is huge. In New York, we were indoors from, say, November through April. So that's six months. Captain of the I said once to my husband something about being middle-aged and he laughed and he said, what are you expecting to live to 102? You're past middle age. It was like a bomb just got dropped on me. And when you look at things in those terms, where am I spending the rest of the time that I have here on earth? You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. And that's what God is thinking. We had the ability to move, so we took it. Here in the low country of South Carolina, you can be outdoors year round. There is no snow or ice to contend with. Right there is such a time saver. If you are at the stage where you're pushing a stroller, you can just get up and go. If you're caring for an elderly parent or you find that you're coming into the age where you are losing your ability to get around with ease, you can get up and go. Here, even during the winters, there is much green. Not all trees lose their leaves. You have blue skies. You'll also get 70 degree days, and those are the days you can just hop on your bike or send the kids out to play. And you don't have to worry about the ground being so muddy or saturated or icy because you don't have that freezing weather like you do up in the north. So now we got off the table what we didn't want anymore. Now we can do the things that we want to do because the climate is now favorable and Bluffton is such a great spot for recreation and having an active lifestyle. Between the time that we've reclaimed and also being in an area that's conducive to an active lifestyle, we're doing so much more than we even thought we were going to. In Bluffton, there's tons of bike trails that are all interconnected throughout the town. A lot of the communities have their own walking paths, nature paths. Communities also have pools and fitness centers. There's tennis courts, there's basketball courts. You're so close to 12 miles of beaches on Hilton Head where you can go out and walk. There's the May River right here in Bluffton where you could paddleboard, you could fish, and you can boat. And we ended up joining a boat club that opens up just a whole new world for us. I'm king of the world! So if you think about it, did you ever join a club or a gym or something that is far away and it's just enough of a barrier because of the time it takes to get there to for you to not do it? Here, a lot of those barriers are removed because things are really literally right at your fingertip or within a very reasonable drive and there's just so many options it's very very cool if you're in the stage of the 55 plus communities and you're setting your sights on sun city or latitudes at margaritaville you would be blown away by all the programs and activities that are available to you so i once heard that if you are bored in any of those communities and by extension i'm going to add bluffton onto that Guess what? It's you. Yep, I said it. I went there. It's you. We came to Bluffton really wanting to experience a sense of community again. We came in the early part of 2021, so think about what was going on in the world at the time. But what we experienced here was very different than what we were currently experiencing up in New York. People were out enjoying the weather, their community, their activities, each other. So it wasn't so much of what we were looking to get away from, but it was what we were working towards. There's South Carolina state flags that are being flown everywhere. Now, is it because the flag and the emblem is so much prettier and aesthetic than maybe the New York flag? Maybe. Is it because people are genuinely happy to be here? I do think it is a combination of both of them. Along those lines, you'll also find a lot of American flags flown on homes and cars and boats and golf carts. 
People are very proud of their country and their military service men and women. There's a lot of families that live in the area and military bases nearby. So they are honored and respected. Our first responders, our police and firemen, they are also respected as well. Bluffton is very diverse and there is a saying here that Bluffton is a state of mind. So no matter what background you are from, the commonality is, is that we're in this really awesome eclectic community. It's not to love. It's really a special place and I hope you get a chance to come visit one day. If you would like to learn more about Bluffton, download the free relocation guide that I've given you the links for below.